At this time of the year, Alberta is usually a winter wonderland, but after a long and dry year across Alberta, the province is experiencing its driest fall in recorded history, and that is due to temperatures on average being five degrees higher. So typically when we have a, an El Nino here, um, we see warmer conditions than what we would normally see across the season and uh, drier conditions as well. A very dry 2023 has led to a water shortage affecting much of the province, especially in southern Alberta. Experts say that's only part of the problem. We've only had about 20% of the normal precipitation this fall, and because of that, the province is preparing for a serious drought in 2024. Wednesday, the Press Secretary of Alberta's Minister of Environment and Protected Areas released this statement. We are closely monitoring snowpack, rainfall, river levels and actual water use to develop early warning capacity and forecasts for next year. And we will keep Albertans updated in the coming months. And Peterson says these weather patterns could last multiple seasons. We did start uh, towards the end of last winter, you know, into the spring. March, April is when we started to see the trend going into El Nino. Um, as we move into December, January here, that's kind of when we expect it to be the strongest. Um, but some of our model guidance is indicating that it will last uh, into the spring next year as well. From Edmonton, Adam Zicarelli, City News.